We're musky fishing in Canada. How a boot that, eh? What's going on everybody, my name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy and I apologize for my ridiculous Canadian accent, but uh, I can't help it. I'm excited to be in Canada again and uh, we're musky fishing. We're staying at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodges back behind Jamie's head there. Uh, it's a cool place to stay if you're gonna come to world famous Eagle Lake and fish for muskies or walleyes or what have you. Uh, if you're smart, I would fish for anything other than muskies because these things will make you bang your head against a wall. We are on day six-ish? Six. Yeah, we're on day six. And uh, finally had our good first good day yesterday. We were struggling pretty hard before that. Uh, we've got some pretty decent conditions today. The wind isn't blowing uh, as ridiculously as it has been. So we are gonna fish a um, mix of weed and rocks today. We had a really good top water bite, so you can probably hear the little sister that Jamie's tossing right now. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. Top waters, bucktails, we're going to throw everything at them until we figure out what they want. Um, we we're still rocking like 68, 69 degree water temps here at the end of August. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can catch ourselves a musky. <laughs> All right, shockingly enough, I'm going to start off with this little guy. You probably recognize it if you've seen videos before. It is a Esox Assault Double Eight Killer Corn. I am throwing it on a nine foot six 2020 swat with the 400 tranks the nine foot six really sends these little bucktails uh you can cast the heck out of them so that's what i'm throwing jamie's throwing a little sister on an original salt stick with the 400 tranks so that's what we're rolling let's do this Come on, <laughs> keep up with the top water action. I like it. Fish, fish, fish. Oh yeah. Oh no. He was definitely playful, wasn't he? He missed it. He keep, missed keep it. Keep going, keep going. Get her up on top again. He just clipped the bait. Yeah, I had a shot at him, Brian. Shoot. Nice little low 40. Ah. Yeah, he stuck, he came back around. And yeah. I felt him tick the bait and he just didn't get the hooks. Dang it. Had my shot. It had my surprise. I was just going to say I'm not really feeling a top water thing and then I was like, oh, there's a wake. <laughs> well, right off that rock. That's a... Oh, oh another one. Oh, oh, oh. That looks... That look, are you kidding me? That was like a smaller hit, though. Yeah. Well, like a little swat. That could be a musky. <laughs> what do you got going here, Jay? I don't know. He, he was, was he behind it? I did not see him, no. Uh, okay. Jeez. Oh boy, we should have had that first one. Yeah. This should have been our first fish in the morning. Yep. We have some major difficulties here. You see the way he that fish would wildly shoot out to the side and kind of yeah. like, wasn't like a straight line of the bait. Yeah. Very confused. Yeah, I don't know what the f that was. Fish. Oh, oh shoot, Jay. He's there, he's there. Still there. Is he? Yep. Right up top here, right up top. Oh, he had it, Brian. Oh. He didn't stick it. He fing had it. He 
did it just the way we were supposed to. He ain't gonna come back. No. He actually grabbed the blade. Yep. He, he didn't grab the hooks, he grabbed the blade. Yep. It wasn't a big fish, but, well, no, but I stuck him. That would have been better frickin' hooking it and pulling the hooks into his face because he grabbed right on that blade. Yep. I, that's the head been hit what hit my bucktail then. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh man. Oh, man dude. 0 for 2 on the bucktail or on the right on that stupid blade and those hooks are so far set back. Yeah. It's because of the angle he came in, because he came in. Of course he came in like this. Yep. So that's where he grabbed. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Was almost a smaller bait would have been better on that. Yeah, yeah. Well Cash tarnets. <laughs> Time to catch pike. <laughs> that didn't take long. Yeah. <laughs> That's I don't, almost might be too big to eat. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> Tell the muskies to hook themselves that well. Come on. Oh, hey, he almost did it. You almost unhooked yourself. Come on. All right. More often than not, there's been wind blowing on this corner. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, there'll be a muskie here instead of just a bunch of pike. But I'll take the tug on the rod there, Jay. Well, that was an eventful morning, albeit not a productive or fruitful morning. Um, couple of fish on top waters hitting and not sticking uh, had a really good fish come up on a bucktail its nose like that far away uh, so after that the wind really picked up so we went in had a fish fry took a little nap and now we are back at it but the wind is still blowing which has been the uh, general theme of this trip unfortunately is it's blowing just hard enough to make it really difficult and not fun to fish a lot of the spots that we want to fish so we are going to our B, C, D, Z game <laughs> and trying to find some shallower weed rock combos out of the wind. Um, that's that's the play right now. Jamie's throwing his uh, little sister. We got we did get a big fish yesterday on one of these uh, out of the way protected spots so that's kind of what we're banking on. Uh, we're just biding our time until the wind hopefully dies down and or changes a little bit of direction to protect us uh, on some of the spots that we really want to get to. So. That's the plan, that's our afternoon. Let's go do it. <laughs> I don't know if I just clipped a weed or if... Yeah. fish. I think it's small, but <laughs> it's a piker. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, better than what we've had happen lately. <laughs> well, she really shells up right here. If I can just let her float here, should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Shut the trolling motor off. <laughs> kind of fishing a new spot, trying to make sure we don't run into things that would hurt a boat. Ah, come on. Stop it. 
hooked. Oh, there you go. Thank you. De hooked. <laughs> That's a mess. Maybe. Oh, at least it's a fish. Is there, oh, there's way back, isn't there? Like back there. <laughs> oh. oh, I got me. Oh no, no, no. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. Wow, that eat was awesome, dude. Yeah, we both got to see that. Wow. He annihilated it. He's not as big as I thought he was when he ate it, but. It's a 40, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yep, I'll get that if you want to get the big camera. Film uh, from the, from behind. Yeah. I think you do my uh, finest spot and stand. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness, we've been fighting wind all day I, we're not completely out of it but we're not in the main basin so it's better back here we've got it on spot lock we've got rocks everywhere so we just we put it on spot lock so jamie and i could go back and uh not have to worry about the boat and just fan cast and we were both in the back of the boat and <laughs> this thing just came powering in it's too bad it wasn't in front of different cameras but that's all right We'll take a fish in the net. Yeah. It is a wily one. Yeah, they have to come out of the swim like this. They're normally fighters. Yeah, okay. And I was dumb and didn't put my glove on, but oh man. That's a really thick fish. That is a nice fish, man. That is a beautiful Eagle Lake muskie. We've been killing ourselves for these things because the wind has just been keeping us off our usual spots. Now I have a feeling he's going to go nuts here, but... Yeah, go. It's like a 43, 44. Yep. 44 and a half. Beautiful. Yeah, very nice fish. 44 and a half inch musky. Yeah, that is a tanker. I mean, not huge tanker but just a heavy fish all right i'm gonna come back here with me jane we'll get this big girl back in the water oh jeez! needed to see that we needed that fish big time man we needed that fish There, she's tail kicking. Bye bye, sweetie. <laughs> we needed that so bad. Oh, now, so to reiterate, we're trying to get out of the wind. We're hitting these little weed rock combos. It's not the usual stuff that we're fishing when we come here, but it's the only thing in play right now because you're just gonna get beat to crap anywhere else you go. So we're gonna keep doing it. See if we can get another one.
There's a little guy. Yeah, I just barely saw her when you yelled fish. She didn't turn real hard on it, but. Whew. Wow. Okay, well, that's good. At least we're seeing a couple out here. It's worth bouncing around for a little while. Yeah. Well, well folks, uh, we took a chance on the last hour and uh, beat ourselves up out here. The wind's finally starting to lay down, but it was, it was rough. We fished for about an hour, a couple of open water spots that is you know, open to the main lake, some big rock spots that could hold big fish. We saw one for sure follow. Jamie thinks he had another one, so uh, wasn't a complete bust. But uh, yeah, we're hoping for this wind to die down a touch tomorrow. I like to have a breeze out here, not this. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to tell you. We got a fish at the boat. We had a couple of cool top water hits this morning. So that's that. We are gonna go back, have a little pizza, maybe have a cocktail or two, and uh, come up with a game plan for tomorrow. We got two more days left here on beautiful Eagle Lake in Northwest Ontario. We're staying at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge. You should check them out. It's a cool place to stay. Scott and Marie are wonderful individuals. So I will put their particulars in the description down below. That's that. We're gonna go back, get rested, do this tomorrow. Thanks everyone for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you on the next video.